All right, well, looks like uh, we've got the wood shortage solved. Certainly have plenty of wood stacks in case we need to build some log cabins here for our prisoners. Uh, I actually have no idea at all. Oh my God, what is this guy doing? What are you doing? Sleep? Go to bed. You have a bed next to you. I, I don't know. That guy's an idiot. Um, so let's see. I don't even have any prisoners for another 20 hours. So we got lots of time. We got education program grant and security procedure certification. Let's see where we are in security procedures. Uh, patrols. Working on deployment. Cute patrols. And I guess we'll just have to play the waiting game on that until the security guy gets done researching them. Actually, no. No, no, no. The security guy's not going to research them because I haven't hired him yet. <laughs> yeah, that's a small problem. So, let's see here. Where are you, security guy? Bam. All right. All right, that should uh, solve the issue. Our danger level is medium and increasing. Hmm. Looks like that's mostly because of food and sleep. Uh, it seems like oftentimes, I don't know where they keep the prisoners before they come to my prison, but uh, a lot of times they just show up without any real, um, you know, totally no sleep, uh, and haven't been fed probably in days, um, haven't seen their family in forever, so... You end up with guys like Jack Road, the double-wide 19-year-old who is um, extremely angry about the fact he hasn't sleep, slept in a while. And now is so angry about it that he can't actually sleep despite the fact he has a bed right next to him. What are you going to do, I suppose? I really want to have those patrols unlocked, though, because I, I need some guys looking around here. This could get out of hand. I guess some guys try and, and, and dig out of the prison. That, that would not be good. I would not like that. All right. So we're going to have to think about our next eight prisoners who are coming in. So probably should uh, plan out another cell block. We fortunately have our clone tool ready. So we can just sort of uh, do this the easy way now. Oh, come on, clone tool. Come on. There we go. There we go, clone tool. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you have to put down the foundation before you can actually use the clone tools. Let's see, one, two, 19 meters by 29 meters. Sounds as dandy. Actually, we need two meters less because we already have the hallway there. All right, guys, get to work on that. And I'm also going to want to think about my classrooms, classrooms, because we need to, uh, you know, get these guys educated, get them, get them ready to go back into the greater world, you know, be productive members of society. That's very important. So, so where should we put a classroom at? Hmm. Classroom. I feel like we could have a classroom here. Maybe we could put, um, I don't know, classroom, classroom right here. That might be good. We don't need room for 20 desks, but I think we could probably cram them into that space. Mm, and actually, I, I probably will want to have two classrooms because uh, I'm going to want to train the prisoners to do more than just one thing. I'm going to want to train to do various different tasks. So I'll plan, and I can do that more quickly with more classrooms. So I'll plan to have two classrooms up here. Now we're going to have to start... Uh, working around the lake, I suppose. Not really anything you can do, you know, about that other than to build stuff around the lake. So, let's see. I guess we'll have to kind of go this way. Maybe. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe we'll just do this. It's probably just as well. So, that looks good. That looks good to me. Some good classroom planning there. So let's put down our foundations. Ooh, okay. Looks like the lake go down a little further than I suspected because of that tree there. So there we go. 
Easy peasy. Oh my, what the hell is going on up here? Oh shit. You know what, this guy, this guy is obviously freaked out to the point where <laughs> he's destroying his shit. That's wonderful. So I better send some guards up there to see what is going on. Hopefully he didn't actually escape. What is he? Look at him. He is punching his bed. This guy is just crazy. Right, okay. Oh man, I feel like I might need some more guards now. Can, I can't afford him. It's not a big deal. These guys are going to be really rowdy until he gets some sleep tonight. And also, this means I'm going to need. I need. Uh, I'm going to need to get my doctors up there. Something I've noticed. This must be a. I don't know if this is a bug. I'm going to assume it's a bug. The doctors don't give a shit about anything. Pretty much, they just stay in the infirmary. And I guess they occasionally leave to get a soda in the staff room. But when you have injured guys, they just, they're just kind of like, whatever, you know. Uh, I'm not going up there until I get the call. I have other important things to do. I'm a doctor. And I worked very hard for this degree. So, screw you guys. But now the guard will let him in. And hopefully, Mr. Jack Road will gratefully accept the medical attention that he's about to receive. Except the doctor just went right back. Okay, come on. Come on, doc. So, I'm going to want to also add in some solitary, confine solitary confinement cells because we will have people getting a little rowdy every now and then, and we're going to want them put in solitary as a punishment, a little deterrent. So, we can probably just fit some in right here. Solitary cells don't have to have a toilet. They don't have to have much of anything. They just can be... You know, solitary cells. All right. And I, I, I feel like I want things to be built a little bit more quickly, so I'm going to hire another workman or two. And there we go. All right. Time to accelerate time a little bit. All right, there we go. We'll make sure we get a wall replaced here. Kind of a good idea to expand our fencing even more. And put some walls in for classrooms. See our utilities are looking here. Looks like we've got a little bit of an electrical issue at the end of that classroom, not too surprising. I'm sure we're also going to need to expand our electrical service down here. And we're also going to have to put in some pipes, bigger pipes. So that should just about do it. And now that we have our foundation built here, we can actually indulge in the wonder which is the clone tool so the clone tool is going to let us replicate our cell here without any issues at all and so we just have to make sure we line it up right which shouldn't be a big deal come on come on come on You can't only clone six meters by six meters at a time, which is a little bit of an odd restriction. Uh, but this game does have some odd restrictions like that in some areas. Couldn't really tell you exactly why. I suppose maybe there's a feeling that being able to clone everything too easily would make the game too simple. 
I guess, but I think it would be nice to be able to clone a larger area. We will make do with the tools we have, though. careful with this tool too because it can be pretty easy to uh, not line things up correctly and accidentally produce a wonk wonky looking cell and that then you have to redo the whole thing and there's no take backs really so you know once that money's gone once things are built that money's gone and there's not really anything else you can do about it let's see I don't feel like that's right I feel like something's wrong here is something wrong here? No, I think that's fine. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's kind of like putting together a puzzle, I suppose. Oh my god, what's going on down here? What is going on down here? Well, this guy's injured. Doctor! Doctor! Get out of your stupid... Must be another fight. We really need those solitary cells. So I'm going to build them right down here. And... That will give us quite a bit of solitary confinement room for the time being. You need special doors for these, which are very expensive. So solitary is an expensive ad thing to add to your prison. But it's a necessary thing because um, when the prisoners are not acting as they should, you know, you can use solitary as punishment that will dissuade any further mm, acting out, at least for a while. So that can be a very important way of keeping your prisoners in line if they're not too happy about where they are, which, you know, is understandable. Let's go ahead and do the classroom. Oh, classroom, why can't I see you? I know you're staring right in front of me. Ah, I'm locked because I don't have education. Great, great, great. So we'll research that. Our storage rooms are really filling up, actually. I'm kind of surprised. I think we might need to add on to that sometime soon. I mean, geez, look at all this. Look at all this junk. Well, it's not junk, but look at all this stuff that's waiting in our deliveries area. We got trucks backed up like you wouldn't believe. Could add another storage room up here, I suppose. Uh, actually, 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 you know what? Let's um, Let's take the easy way out. And we'll just add some storage to where we were going to put that classroom. But it was kind of an odd shape for a classroom anyway. Uh, so we'll put a staff door there. Should be all right then. Let's see. Put in some walls here. Ta-da. Also, we want to replace this wall. This fence with a wall here. I think actually we already have that queued up. Okay, so that looks like well, it looks like we're pretty good there. There's not much we can do except just wait now for things to get taken care of. So I'm just going to set the time all the way up. And where are we in the day anyway? Let's look at our look at our regime. 7:18, so we're going to be going for the next meal pretty soon. Then it'll be the sleep. And during the night, I don't think we have too many huge product uh, um, projects to complete. Although we might might go ahead and put it in the classroom. We could have that done by tomorrow. That would be excellent. Uh, and it looks like we can al also go ahead and do our security procedure certification. That'll be awesome. I can finally have my guards to patrol. So let me check on that real quick. Add in some more guards. Boop, boop. All right, we got all the guards we need, and we have access to our deployment screen. It's the first time you'll be seeing this in this Let's Play. This is really useful. Uh, it lets you decide where your guards will patrol, which is great for obvious reasons. So I'm going to put a patrol route here. 
And I'm also going to put one in this cell block that's being put together. And I think I will also put one that goes in this general area. Great. So now we have some guards assigned to patrol. They will make sure that no near do wells do anything while we have our back turned. Because, <laughs> like I said earlier, the fog of war is on. We can't actually see what the prisoners are doing when we don't have someone who is there directly looking at them. Need to finish up cloning these cells. Did I estimate the size of this wrong? I guess I did. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but I'll just build another wall here and uh, the rest of that will be used when the found when the next foundation is put in. So it's not going to be a huge issue. I don't understand why there's not a wall here though. This isn't good. Definitely do not want gaps like that in our prison. So we'll go ahead and put another wall there. And we're also going to need some smaller pipes for these other toilets. Bam. All right, awesome. So that looks like that pretty much covers that cell block. We'll have to see when everything gets completed, but I think that will be pretty much done. Let's focus our attention over here, where the classroom is. Looks like we're not quite done with education, so I can't build that up. It might be wise to uh, go ahead and expand our kitchen area. So I think I would do that. Shouldn't take too long. And we are going to be running out of room pretty soon because we've got... Eight more prisoners coming tomorrow, eight more prisoners the next day. By the time we have these, this second sort of cell block area filled up, we would easily have this kitchen filled up. So uh, once there's not enough kitchen space, prisoners actually won't get fed. Those that sit around, uh, you know, they can't go eat on the floor. Not, not something they'll do. And then you'll get riots. Very angry hunger riots. Or hunger riots are not good. So we don't want those. Okay. So our solitary is um, defined, which means the person we have waiting solitary confinement will get punished. Looks like everyone got fed nicely. We have family, one family waiting to visit tomorrow, so our visitation room should be plenty large for a while. And yeah. Everything looks like it's going pretty hunky dory then. I'm going to go look for another grant. What grant should we do next? Well, we got education going. We've got the prisoner acclimation and engagement, but that one can take a while because we have to do some training to get them to work in the kitchen. I think I'll go ahead and pick cell block B. And then by the time we get education reform program done, then we can have prisoner acclimation. All right, so we got our kitchen expanded. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the walls here and mark these rooms as being larger. Canteen, ta-da. Where's our kitchen? Yes. Great. All right, so that's plenty of space now. We've got a lot, a lot more room to work with. I think it's probably a good idea then to add in some additional, um, before we add anything into the kitchen, actually, let's go ahead and throw another capacitor on the power station. That's going to become very important. Because you can see it's, it's near, it's near its, um, 
maximum and the kitchen kitchen stuff actually adds quite a bit of strain to the power grid so if you're not careful with that you can very easily end up with an er overburdened power generator and your whole prison will shut down which also can lead to riot you know this is really a riot avoidance simulator they need more power they get to these fridges and etc well, some more pipes for the small sink. I would like to put in another serving table. And some regular tables. Let's see here. One, two, three. So let's say one. That's probably good. That's a pretty significant expansion in our space for Prisoners of Eve. So that should handle us. That that should be able to handle it for a while. Oh my gosh, what's going? What is going on here? I cannot have a fence as part of the solitary cell. That doesn't make any sense at all. All right. Education has been researched. So now we can go ahead and put a classroom in. And there's not a whole lot you got to do for classrooms except put in a desk and a whole slew of uh, school desks. In this case, we're going to need 20. Which I feel like, I don't know, a bit excessive, but what are you going to do? As far as I know, you don't need to actually put these in any sort of real row. The prisoners will just climb over each other to get to them. Not a big deal. Alright, so I think that should be... That's 20, right? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Alright, so... That classroom is now operating. All right. Where, where is the education? Yes, here we go. What do we want to do? Foundation education course. Yes, we will do that. Rooms are booked. No, they're not. Uh, but the reason why it's saying that is because we don't have time in our schedule for them to, enough time in our schedule for them to actually go to the class. So let's look at our regime. Um, looks like the session length is, is three hours, which is pretty long. But if we move free time back, maybe add an extra bit of free time there, and we put some work in the morning, that should free up enough time. Let's see if that made a difference. Yes. Okay. So now we have some guys that are going to go through the education program. But that's going to take a few days for that to be successful. In the meantime, let's check out the progress on our cell block up here. Looks like we're not quite done. Okay. So we need to extend that pipe a little bit further. And electricity to these areas but that should pretty much do it hmm why do we have logs in the cell box that seems a little dangerous doesn't it I mean aren't you basically giving the prisoners a club uh, whatever so that puts our prisoner capacity at 32 we have 15 of 32 we need to get the 50 in order to get our cell block B grant fulfilled and this right here is sort of a medium security area. Um, we've got different inter, you know, interlocking, interlocking jail door secured areas. We've got hallways around the main cell blocks. We've got guys patrolling frequently. So this is this is definitely a more medium security prison situation. 
what we probably should think about doing is making a smaller minimum security wing, which would be uh, pretty inexpensive. And you could do it down here without too much fuss, I think. So let's let's think about the planning for that. So, minimum security, minimum security. We don't have to worry quite about so much about uh, breakouts there. So we can do sort of a, a format where we don't have hallways on all sides to watch out for the, um, the digging out breakout attempts and to have space for the guards to patrol all the way around. So maybe, you know, we got, we got our main hallway down here. Probably reserve this space for uh, future storage or services or what have you. And then maybe maybe we, we just do a, a nice little hallway down this way and make a minimum security area. So we could envision it. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two. So this would be a, a cell. And if we did it like that, and went all the way back, then we could fit a large number of cells in here without too much trouble. So, I do wonder how that will work out. Is there, let's see, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Look at that, perfect, actually. All right, so that's the plan. That's going to be a minimum security cell block area. That will give us a lot of room. We can put our minimum security guys in there and shouldn't have to worry about them escaping because, you know, they are, I guess, just, you know, they're happier where they are. So, let's lay the foundations for that. Looks like our storage situation is taken care of. That's excellent. Canteen. Plenty of room. Prisoners have space. We've now got two guys in the classroom. So it's going to take a while to have our 15 prisoners pass through the foundation education course, but what can you do? Um, and let's look at our needs. Hygiene is a little bit of an issue right now, but it might go down as they're having a the shower. Yeah, it looks like it's going down quite a bit. Family, family recreation. I'd say everything here is pretty well in, in normal limits. Uh, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about riots in the immediate future. Especially not as long as we keep getting only eight prisoners per day. We're built out pretty well for that. I do think we might want to have a larger shower eventually. But mm, I don't know. I think right now we can probably make do with what we got. 